In Kenya, nearly 24 million plastic bags are used monthly, half of which end up in the solid waste mainstream. Plastic bags now constitute the biggest challenge to solid waste management in Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya. Nairobi is home to 3 million 300 people. Two years ago, Kenya banned the use, manufacture and sale of environmentally harmful plastics, polythene bags and packaging materials. Although people in Kenya now use fabric bags, there are some disadvantages to it, such as high costs of fabric bags. My initial solution was to create biodegradable plastic bags, which ensures that over time the bag will degrade, whether it be in land or water. When completely submerged in the water, the plastic bag will dissolve, and the chemicals left behind do not affect the surrounding biodiversity such as marine or plant life. My research consisted of using different materials to try and create a product. Here are a few of them. Edible films made of cassava starch and fruto-oligosaccharides. The purpose of this was to produce fruto-oligosaccharides, also known as FOSs, by using microorganisms and to make the FOSs a main ingredient in cassava starch edible films, which are made according to their barrier properties. FOSs could easily be dissolved, therefore resulting in soluble films. Due to material constraints, I could not test this out. However, I decided to use some ideas from this to improve other ways of creating the film for the plastic bags. Characterization of cassava starch based edible film enriched with lemongrass oil. The edible film maintains food quality and an eco friendly packaging. Cassava starch ed based edible film is capable of being developed because of the approaching appearance of plastic packaging. The addition of essential oils can be used as an alter alternative to improve the antimicrobial properties of the edible film. Due to the inaccessibility of the cassava starch, I decided to use potato starch. I also researched on using um, starch and PVA, where a biodegradable plastic film is produced by blending the starch and a synthetic biodegradable polymer, which is also known as PVA. After researching and testing a few more prototypes, I came to a realization that I wouldn't be able to form the plastic bag as it is. So instead, I decided to use the same film that, that I create for plastic bags, but instead of making it into a plastic bag, I would package food with it. However, as I continued my research, I began to notice that most of these materials are toxic to eat, and furthermore came to a conclusion that I should be packaging substances such as soap products. Um, I continued to test on casein and ammonia as I could get all the materials I needed and make a few changes to what I wanted my material to look like. Growing up, I was always thinking of ways to solve problems. My imagination ran wild with ideas. Throughout this journey, I have learned that new inventions can come from anywhere. They can be wild and crazy ideas, or they can be simple improvements on existing ones. The more I let my imagination run free, the more ideas, the more great ideas come.